Good day mga ka-reviews! It's been 6 months since its release and I finally got my hands on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. And since we are in a pandemic, most of us are still thankful that we have our jobs to buy this quality phone. I am not here to review the product and I just want to share my dirt cheap accessories on my ultra-rich iPhone 12 Pro Max. And since iPhones are a bit pricier, it is wise to subsidize it or buy it on a carrier. And usually it's 15 to 20% cheaper than the market price. So here's the specs. Okay, let's try to open it. Wow, amazing color. But, I have to say it, for an ultra pricey phone, the box only contains a lightning to USB-C cable and a pamphlet. Not even a charger, but hey, it's good for the environment, <laughs> rich. So I got this on the Pacific Blue Collar and after months of unavailability here in Manila, the demand saturated and became available again. And here, I got a cheap case that makes your phone looks like a Note 10 Ultra or a Zone Xperia. If you want to buy this, I'll link it below. Neon yellow went quite well and the casing is thick enough to at least even out the camera bump at the back. So I'll try the purple case and well um, for me it's not complementing the Pacific blue. And I am now transferring all of my iPhone 11 account and memory into my new phone. Okay, let's put our passcode. Then enroll Face ID. Simple as that. But first, both phones should have the new version of iOS. Well, depending on your internet speed and the data transfer took 30 to 40 minutes max. And even my messages were transferred and this one is still seamless. All my apps and photos were transferred. I am a big phone kind of guy and I normally perceive a good quality phone if it is made of quality materials, really thin and has a large screen. Power button. We have the mute switch, the volume case, and hidden beneath the casing is a SIM card slot. There's nothing on top. Lightning port and two speaker grills. And for me, the best phone that I had for so many years because it takes all of my best phone box is the Sony Xperia Ultra with a 6.4 inch screen and the thin cell phone I ever held and the biggest pocket bulger ever. 
these are cheap tempered glass so cheap that I would not bet on the quality so I bought three just in case forgot to tell you guys if you're like me who bought an iPhone on a carrier subsidy it's good to check the phone's battery health it should stay at 100% signifying that it's brand new Since the pandemic, cell phone service shops are fewer and we are still careful not to go outside. So let's DIY screen protectors. I normally would pay somebody who's a pro in placing screen protectors and I bought this cheap 3 supposedly 9 inch tempered glass protector and attempt to install it myself. Not to mention that I still have 2 spares if I botch up the process. looks good to me and I still have two spares I also forgot that my iPhone not only transferred my apps pictures and memories but also my Apple watch pairing All my Apple Watch app has been transferred and my face watches are slowly trickling down towards the app. Is it just me or do we all have a problem with this trilobate protruding cameras? I decided to put a tempered glass protector to even out the spaces and protect the camera lenses. And by the way, I bought two just in case. If you would like these kinds of videos, please subscribe to help me continue making these kinds of content. And please don't forget to hit the like button and click the notification bell as well.
there you have it. My pandemic cheapest protection on a rich man's phone. Thank you.